Why are people always so negative? It's Alexor again, my friends. And yesterday afternoon, EHG released a roadmap, which is great news. Great, great news about the roadmap for roadmap. Roadmap for last epoch, what will be coming in the next years, even, because that's years, right? If we count three to four months from each cycle, four cycles were announced, what they were gonna do. That's about a year. So um, the funny thing is, I was just super hyped about that to see that. And beca especially because Mike said for so long, they are, have been burned by roadmaps in the past so much, they are reluctant to do a roadmap. And now they still did it. They threw it out. And I looked at it. It was great. We're going to go over it also in this video. But the funny thing is here on the forums, um, the comments down here we are so negative dude it's insane for one thing mostly that's coming with 1.1 um but yeah we're not gonna go over the comments in detail i'm gonna refer to a bunch of them but that was just just stupid so i just don't understand why people aren't that way we're gonna talk about this in a second let's just first look over the roadmap what it actually is so i'm not gonna read this whole thing um but this is the roadmap and you can see what's on 1.1 then so let me let me get up here. Whoosh. There we are. See down here. <clears throat> this is the roadmap, right? And on the top it also says continuous updates coming, regular patches, community feedback and collaboration, balance improvements, dungeon improvements, bug fixes. Because someone asked about what's about the bug fixes? You didn't mention that. People are people are weird, man. Anyway, this 1.1 coming in about four to five weeks-ish. I guess this dude, this big dude back here is the pinnacle boss, I guess. Face terrifying new monolith threads. Harbing us, whatever that is. Maybe these guys. And pinnacle boss, I guess that's one. I thought it was pinnacle bosses. Apparently it's one boss. We knew this was coming. Nothing new, nothing crazy. We knew that. Random encounters nemesis. That's an interesting one. I don't know how this plays out, I guess. When you just, you have some sort of nemesis for your class, I guess. The class you're playing, or maybe even the mastery. And when you are just out there monolith farming, because it says monolith threat, so I guess this is all mostly about monoliths. Um, then just a nemesis might pop up. Basically just a random encounter with a boss you have to fight. Which I like, that's cool. That sort of freshens things up a little. Maybe we don't know the details of what this actually means. Just this one line, random encounters. So I guess it doesn't say this... Echo now has a nemesis. I guess it's going to be random, just as it says. And then the thing that pissed people off the most, evade dodge roll mechanic. And people were furious about this in the comments, like crazy. They were talking so much shit down here. I don't know if I find it directly. Um, yeah, I'm disappointed to see we're getting a dodge roll button. This game is focused enough on dodging one hit kills as it is. Um, Dodge Roll is such a lazy design. Someone else said, um, yeah, he's, he's just said, I hope the Dodge Roll mechanics really bring some character with it, like the mage teleports and the rogue dodges or shifts, something like that. So it's not just a roll. Basically, people were just saying, this is not a Souls like game. Why are you basically stealing from other games? Uh, this is not what this game is about. And we don't even know how it works. All right. We don't know if you actually have to have a, a split second to, to hit a button and then roll out, or if it's just some sort of chance mechanic, right? That you maybe have a chance to do a dodge roll on its own. We don't know. We have no idea. People in the comments were actually asking, or actually saying, the game is already dead because of that. <laughs> I mean, the game is apparently already dead anyway. That's what they say. But that was very interesting. Um, also... Someone said, and this is something that really bugged me. He said, they should have rushed 1.1. Basically saying, it's already declining a lot in players and they needed to bring new content fast, especially in the beginning, to keep people coming back. And the fact that it's three to four months from the release is way too long. And four weeks now is way too long. It should have been way faster. And... He said the game might just be dead because of that. Let me tell you, that is fucking bullshit. 
I can't put it any other way. It does not matter if it's four weeks now or if it would be happening tomorrow. It does not matter at all. The people that are playing right now would be playing anyway. And they will be playing in one month still. It doesn't matter. In one month or four weeks, whenever it actually launches, the same amount of people will be coming back that would have come back if it launched tomorrow. It does not fucking matter. The only exception would be if in four weeks, Path of Exile 2 launches. Then I could see how Last Epoch doesn't get many people playing but or any other big ARPG maybe but if it's just a regular release that is just complete bullshit and I don't know you guys tell me please in the comments why are people that negative about this game or in any game it's just not just last epoch this happens with any game right there is new stuff released and we're gonna go over the rest of it in a second or new stuff mentioned what they will be working on <clears throat> and people just like oh, this all sucks man I hate this we don't even know anything about it Evade mechanic. We don't know how it works and people are already pissing off. I don't understand it. So that's a little bit of a ramble here. I'm sorry. <laughs> but I'm just confused by how people are like that. It's just just, just odd to me. Anyway, um, let's proceed. So this is 1.1. Some also said it's not that much that is coming. I think this could actually be quite a lot. I remember Mike saying in a in a death stream, the pinnacle boss system, because it's a system, it's not just a boss, it's apparently a system, is sort of on par with dungeons, monoliths, basically, and arena, basically the whole end game thing. Meaning, this could be quite big. If it's on par with the other things, I guess not monoliths, because monoliths is a lot, but with dungeons, right? If you have another, even if it's just one more dungeon, that's a little bit longer maybe, like, and that is the pinnacle boss, or maybe three dungeons you have to go through to get to him. Um, that's still a lot of content, I think. Of course, you've been done with that in a week. Sure, but that's normal for most people with these games anyway. Most people will play, when 1.1 releases, most people will play one to two weeks, maybe three, try a bunch of new um, builds, how, depending on how much they change with the balancing. And then they move on to the next game. That's just how it is. I know why people are so crazy about this every time, but whatever. Then something great comes. By the way, I also have something negative to say, but it's not as crazy as people think. Uh, more like a disappointment, but uh, what can you do? And that is 1.2 will have uncovered the secrets of Atero's ancient past. I was looking forward to this one very much because the whole map, right, on the ancient era is pretty much empty. You only go there for the, the time rift hunts. I definitely want to know what happened in the ancient time before civilization came around, so to speak. And there was already a Terra's temple, I believe. So there must have been some sort of um, civilization. So that's going to be interesting. Very interesting. Also, Primal Hunt endgame events. More endgame stuff. Great. No idea what that could be. I have no idea. Um, if this is some sort of finding a boss with other people. Sort of endgame hunt? I don't know. Because there's events, so that would imply that there is uh, more people involved in that. Or maybe the first who beats it. I don't know. Ancient Era Story Chapter. Nice. Okay. And Primordial Uniques. I guess so. this is very much focused on just throwing out a lot of uniques. So that's going to be great. 1.2 is going to be, at least for me, <laughs> much longer than, than uh, 1.1, for example. Because... With uniques, you can always create builds around it. So I'll have a lot to play around with builds. And you, if you are one like, uh, person like this as well, then you can play around, test uniques with builds, farm for them, and then test a new build with it. So that's going to um, use up a lot of time, I guess, for me anyway. Now, the sad thing is, ancient, we only get one story chapter in this entire year. That is, for me, the very sad part. Because... They said on the law stream that they are working on three more chapters from nine. We currently have nine chapters and 12 apparently is sort of the idea of the game. Then the story is mostly told uh, and we only get one. So we go to 10. I was hoping we get the, all the three chapters in this year. That's a bit of a bummer um, because I really want to know what happens with Orobis, who he is. What, who, what, who, or who Terra exactly is, and how this is all set up. And he, they said they're working on this. I was hoping it's coming sooner. 
we get the ancient era maybe we learn something about this as well there for sure but ah that's that's a bit i wanted some more law man so the the law people you and me we are a bit on the short end here Anyway, gameplay-wise, this is going to be a lot of content for me, just because of the uniques. I mean, 1.1 will also have uniques. They said it before. Um, that's the easiest one to do, always. There will be more um, items. And they also said that balance changes are coming, so nodes will be changed a lot, so you will have enough to try new builds if you are that kind of guy. But um, it's mostly the pinnacle boss system, I guess. The random encounters are interesting, and I don't, I don't care about that role mechanic. I don't think it's going to be like a Souls game. I don't think they're going to make... Um, last steps of the living with last epoch. That's not going to happen. All right, then we have this with all these weird, whatever this means, 1.3. So you got to think each cycle is about three to four months, right? So that's already in nine to 12 months. So this might already as soon as be coming in a year. Plus, uh, roadmaps are always subject to change, as it says up here. When they figure out something in between that doesn't fit or something doesn't work the way they intended it to, this could be changed entirely. All right? It's just a, what they're planning on. 1.3. Explore lost realities preserved in time. Monolith of Fate expansion. That's great. Even more monoliths. So I guess new bosses and stuff and maybe even a different direction in how it works. But it's going to be a year almost. Unique false echoes. I don't know what that is, but it looks like... I mean, I don't know what that means. No idea what that could be. New procedural side zones. That's interesting. Um, that could be very nice. Basically, procedural means they are not set how they look and how they set up, because now the maps are set as they are, right? Um, procedural means they're different every time. So anytime you play the Echo, it's going to be different. Um, but it's not just for side zones. I wonder if they will ever put this in the Echoes themselves, so all the Echoes are procedural generated. I don't know. So this is very much focused on Echoes. And the monolith is going to get bigger, so even more endgame. Um, so this is pretty much what you can tell. There is so much more endgame coming. So over time, you can play this game for even longer, longer and longer. And then 1.4. Unlock your skills' true potential. Introducing skill sigils. Again, this is going to be over a year until we get this, right? So you got to wait there. Don't know what that means. A skill sigil, I guess. If you put some sort of sigil on it, as it is shown here, then you gain more things in that tree you didn't have before, maybe? Because I think these are not actually on the fireball tree. It goes down here and here and here and here. So you gain new things. And it's lightning, so maybe you can put a lightning sigil on a fireball that converts stuff. I don't know what this exactly means. Um, I guess it's so fun in the future, they maybe only roughly flesh it out. Don't have any details, maybe. New endgame bosses, great, always great, um, I guess also in the monoliths. And then the key thing, of course, transmog and die system. People has, have also said they want to have this way earlier. It's going to be a year until you get this. Basically, if you don't know what transmog is, that means you can um, put any sort of style on your weapons, regardless of stats, or on your, on your gear, rather. So you can have, um, I don't know, a, a cool-looking... Two-hander sword that has stats from a completely different item. Um, so it's really just visuals mostly for, for, your, for your items. They look different. But keep the stats you want to have. And this is just cosmetics mostly. But people really have been asking for this quite a while. Um, so yeah, very interesting. But this is going to take a while, really. Again, this is all just what is sort of set in stone for now. And might still change regardless. But... Don't forget, there's also regular patches, balance improvements and dungeon improvements constantly coming, as well as bug fixes. And I think new little things, I think there will actually be more in these patches than they're saying here. I think so. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe it's just that. But um, I think they aim to over the lure, in my personal opinion. Also, because Mike sort of sometimes hinted at things in, in, in the... Streams, for example, new we know that new enemy types coming, or not enemy types, new enemy models, for example, are coming. He showed it already. So there is more than just that, right? These are just, I guess, the main, main things they're putting into this roadmap. So yeah, tell me what you think about that in the comments. Let me know. 
um, how this makes you feel if you absolutely hate something like most of the comments in here. Um, or not most, but there's really a lot of people that were talking a lot of shit. Also, one thing I forgot to mention is because there was a, a poll and you, sh you guys should actually run this. If you go down here, release timing poll, you go to that poll. I've already did it, as you can tell. And actually, I can't show it anymore then. feels bad. Basically, they've been asking because right now the idea is the Pinnacle boss releases, like all the content is released into all the uh, modes, hardcore, softcore, online, offline. But they're asking... When will this all go to legacy? Because they, of course, don't want people with this super insane Twinkier to run into the Pinnacle boss and kick him within four, four hours of the game releasing the new content. Um, they want to have people actually make new characters in the cycle and play with those and see if they can actually beat the Pinnacle boss properly before they go in with, with, their, with their good gear. So... There is a poll about this, how they how they want to do it, how you guys want to do it. I mean, 8.5 people clicked on it, 8.5k people. So a lot of people voted, which is great. Definitely use your chance to vote it, by the way, also. 8,000 people are on the forums. Game is not dead. Um, use your part to vote there, how you want it set up. There's just four questions. Uh, it's interesting, though, that they actually ask the community how they should be releasing this content. I like this a lot. Um, so I'm just... I I just like all this a lot. What was said there, we actually have an idea of what's coming going forward, roughly, right? And we can make some speculations of what it could be. But I just don't know why people are so negative about it. I don't know. Even if people really don't like the evade mechanic, which will be shown pretty early, I guess, once it's out, they can just remove it again, right? It's not a big deal. So, but they are actually testing things and seeing how it works. So I just like this completely. Tell me, tell me in the comments what you think about it, of this whole thing. If you expected something different, if you expected more or less, or what, what your thoughts are, definitely want to know. Go down there and type away, and I will see you in the next video.